What's up everyone, in this video I will show you how to post process this raw car photo into this one. You can find this photo in the description of the video, it's a raw photo from Reddit. Right, so this is a raw photo file, so if I'm gonna drag this in Photoshop, it's gonna open up camera raw. And in camera raw we can do the first adjustments to this image. So let's first go to basic here and do a little bit of changes here. So with the exposure, we can set the lighting here. So first of all, let's increase this a little bit for this one, so it doesn't get too dark now. So for the contrast, I will drop the contrast because it looks a little bit dark on this side here. So I wanna make sure it's also visible. So just drop the contrast and we will make a better contrast with the other settings. Now the highlights, we can also drop so we can see those mountains better in the background. I will probably drop this all the way down and let's see let's try the shadows a bit lighter so you can see the darker parts now with the whites we can also play to get more lighting if you want to create some cool lighting we can increase this again so you can still see the mountains now because we dropped the contrast here and let's increase the light whites here all right so let's go on to the blacks maybe a bit more to the right so we can see all those darker areas here yeah. Now, and here is the fun part. If we increase the clarity, we can get this really nice, like HD effect. And I really like this for this car. So I'm gonna increase this a lot. You can see also all the highlights are popping out now. Let's move on to curves. Here we can do some more adjustment to the lighting. And I will probably drop this a bit so you can see the background better. Oh, And let's move on to lights. And this one increase a bit so we get some nice highlights here. And let's increase this one also. And this one I will bring a bit to the left so we get nice black tones. All right, we have this beautiful red color from this Ferrari. So I wanna make sure the red is popping out. So I'm gonna play with the colors here. So this depends on the color of your car, of course. If you have a different car color, you might wanna try different sliders here. So this probably also goes in the range of orange. You can see it looks a bit orange on. I have like really red, Ferrari red. So I'm gonna drop this orange a bit, so I get these nice red tones now. And with the red, we can also play a bit, but I think I'm just gonna move it like that, and that's it. Not gonna touch that one anymore. And here we have the situation. We can increase this red if we want. If we just put this and take it to the right, we get all this really red color in this image. So let's move it a bit to the right, so we get more color here. And this will make it lighter if you want or darker. So this all depends on your image. If you want to make it lighter, you can make it pop a bit more like that. I'm going to leave this like that. And let's move on to calibration here. And here we can also play with the red a bit. If you want to have more creative, we can also change these values here. I think this looks nice already. I don't want to mess with it too much. Maybe just a bit to the right here. All right, let's open this up. And now we already have made these changes to this image and we can just open this up in Photoshop. And it already looks a lot different from the original one. Now for this one, I will probably create some light effects. So what I'm going to do here is create a new layer and then select the brush here, pick a color and let's pick something almost too white here. And I'm going to create some light effects here. Make sure you have a normal brush here, just a soft round general brush. And let's create a lighting. So you create a dot first and press Ctrl or Command T on your keyboard. And just stretch it out like that. Make it real big. And we can create some nice sunlight in the background. Some reflections like there. If it's, if it's too yellowish, you can press Ctrl or Command U. And bring up these values, the lightness, bring it up. So it looks more like, like white. Looks a bit cleaner, I think. So the next thing I need to do here is to crop this image a bit. It's a bit too vertical now. I think it's too long in the height here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the crop tool here to make it smaller. And here we can set the ratio. So I want to make this 4 by 5 I'm going to create 4 by 5 here. And you can see here it doesn't fit this image. So I have to make this smaller and move this a bit around till I got the nice spot for this. So I'm just gonna place it somewhere here. You can place it in the center if you want. This isn't really important now. 
I just want to show you all the steps that I do. So let's place it somewhere here in the center so we fill this image nicely up, maybe a bit down like that. And let's just press enter. All right, that's it. And I'm going to save this first and import this into Lightroom. All right, as you can see here, I got this into Lightroom. Here I have my presets and I'm going to apply a couple of these. So this one looks pretty cool. Don't mind the Dutch version of my Lightroom. You don't really need some settings here that are important to follow. Just apply these presets. For instance, this one is nice. I'm going to export this and then I'm going to do one more, probably the first one, this one. And this one looks also nice and we can even move the lighting around. So I want to move the lighting a bit at the car in the center here. And if I export this one, I have two files created that I can open up in Photoshop again. And make sure to use unique names when you save these files. So you have two files instead of one. Right, so back into Photoshop again here, I'm just going to open up the two files that I just exported from, from Lightroom. So this was the first one. It's a bit light. But don't worry about that. This was the second one. It's so two bit different files. And I'm just going to copy this. This Select all Control A or Command A to select them all. And Command V or Control V to paste it. And the same goes for the second one. So we have two of these files on top of our image. And the only thing I have to do here is to just disable one first. And this one I'm going to play with the opacity. You can see here how much strength I want to use these this preset. This is how I work usually. So I'm gonna try to find a nice strength here. This is too much, so probably just a little bit. And we can also play with different color modes here, different uh, blend modes here. So usually I try out maybe color works for this one to get some nice colors, but I don't think color works for this one. So usually you can just play around with different blend modes to try out how these work. So this one is probably okay, soft light. And you can see here we get a bit more red popping out. Now let's move on to this one. And this one also is nice, but it's a bit too light now. So I'm going to play around with the settings. Probably something like this. This is okay. It's a bit lighter now. Maybe it's too much. As you can see here, the opacity is only 18. And here is only 39. So I barely use these presets in the, in the design. You can see here the difference. Get a bit lighter. It's a nice effects to it. Now let's create a new layer and press command alt shift e so we have a duplicated version of everything convert this to a smart object and then I'm gonna go into camera raw I'm gonna create some vignette on this one so let's go here to vignette and create a bit of a vignette so we have more focus on the car here and let's also do this one like that that's probably it I'm gonna leave it like this and now if we take some curves we can also play with this one here. Let's see if we can make this a bit better. Especially with the red here. Add some blue to this to make it more cinematic. Let's try out green. A bit more to the right. And the blue one. Just like that. And these are just simple things that will make it a little bit better. Now, oh, let's create a new color balance here. So with the color balance, we can also change the colors a bit. So maybe want it a bit more cinematic, a bit more blue to this. Now, the next thing to do here is to maybe want to add a gradient map here to be more creative. Let's see, let's try the gradient map here. See here we get all these cool gradient maps. This one is also pretty nice if you make it black and white. And just drop the opacity really low here. Just like that. Gets a bit darker like the first image. So I'm going to probably do this just a little bit. Not much. All right. The thing about Photoshop is that they have a new sort of thing that you can change the sky now. And it came out a couple of versions ago. It's pretty new. So if you create a new layer and press Command Alt Shift E. So we have again a duplicated version of everything. And then to go to edit sky replacement and here we can replace the sky so this is pretty cool if you want to change the sky view so you don't have to cut things out roughly and you can see how easy this is we can change this to any sky we want you can upload your own sky or just download some skies from the internet and place them if you want to create something like this this looks pretty cool now maybe this one is also nice some red tones now so i can just check out all these skies here maybe some bluish 
I think something with a bit red is pretty cool because we have this red car. So something like this would also be nice. So I'm gonna use this one and here we can also change it a bit if you want to have it smaller. Just make sure it doesn't get too small or else you can see the, the whole image and we don't want to see that it needs to end at the end. All right, so let's move on here. Maybe a bit of brighter. I think it needs to be a bit brighter. Something like this. I think this looks pretty nice. And you can also change the color here a bit. Maybe a bit more warm or a bit more cold. I think I like it here. Now let's move on here. Let's see fade edge. We can also make it a bit more fading at the end like that. And the shift edge. I think we need to make it like this. So we still see those mountains. So it looks a bit more real. All right. And if you press OK, it's going to create all these layers here, which you can even disable and enable if you want to. So it's pretty easy to use. Now you can see that lighting effect that we created before. It's almost gone because of this preset I used. So what I want to do is I'm just going to grab this layer and just put it above all the other ones and now it can go back to the image. Now, if we press Ctrl T and hold down Shift and Alt, we can stretch it out like that. Maybe move it a bit down, make it a bit bigger. And we still have this light effect there. I think this is fine. Now, let's create a new layer again and do Ctrl Alt Shift E again. Make a smart object, press right mouse and go to Blur Gallery and select Fill blur and with fill blur, we can set some points of blur. So we don't want to blur out the scar. So I'm going to go here to blur and move it to zero pixels. Now, if I hold down Alt or Option on Mac, I can copy these values and just place one here, 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 here. Okay, we don't want blur on this side here, not there, not there, but we want a bit of blur, sorry, here. So I'm going to give this area a bit of a blur so you have more focus on the car. Let's give it a bit more blur here and just hold on Alt and copy these settings. And now we get some nice foreground blur, which gives this effect like we get more focus on this car. So make sure it's the same amount of blur for these dots. Right, so this is pretty easy trick to give it a bit blur so you can get more focus on this car. And you can also even give blur in the background, but I wouldn't do this for this one because we have these trees and the, the mountains are even farther away. So let's leave those without blur, just the foreground blur. Press OK and you are done with this one. Funny thing I just noticed is that I forgot to watch the shadow of the car. So you can see here the shadow goes to the right side of this image. So obviously the, the sun should be on the left side. So if you're going to make these light effects, make sure it fits this image and don't put them randomly like I did. I was confused and I just noticed that the sun should be on the left side and not the right side if you watch these shadows. Go here and select color lookup and select tree strip. This is a pretty cool LED that I use most of the time for editing, even for my artwork and uh, photos and stuff like this. It always works pretty good. So try this one out. Just make sure to play with the opacity here so it doesn't affect it too much. I wouldn't use it at 100%. It makes it too red, I think. Maybe something like 60, 70% or something in the range of 50, 60. This will be very nice. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one.